Hello and welcome to this Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to make the Y2K lens like I'm using right here. All the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens will be linked down below. And yeah, let's learn how to make this lens. Here's how you make that lens. First, we'll need to add our background. To do that, go to Objects, Plus, and Screen Image. A screen image is added to our lens. I'm going to now change the picture that is being used in our screen image. You can add in any picture. Once you find your picture, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the resources. Once that's done, add our image into the texture of the screen image. You can see that the image is added to our screen. This image doesn't fully cover the screen. So to fix that, I'm going to go to stretch mode and change this to fill and cut. Now we have our background that fills up the entire screen. To add our person back, we go to objects, plus and screen image again. This adds another screen image on top of the screen. We go to materials, click where it says default and change this material to unlit. This will add a new unlit material into our scene. I'm now going to click on OK. Next, change the blend mode from disabled to normal. We are done with this. Next, we go to unlit in resources. Check our base texture. And add our device camera texture into the texture. You can do this by dragging and dropping it. Now a person is back, but the background is no longer visible. In order to add just the person and not the background, we go to Opacity Texture and check this. Here, in Texture, which says None, click on that, Add, and search for Segmentation Texture. Here, I'm going to click on Portrait Background. Click on OK. Now we can see the background is on top of the person. We'll have to invert this. In order to invert it, go to Portrait Background Segmentation and Invert Mask. You can also change the feathering of this as you would like. I'm going to keep it at around 0.3. You can also add multiple segmentations. This can be done by right-clicking on your screen image and clicking on Duplicate. The shortcut to duplicate is Control D on Windows and Command D on a Mac. Once that's duplicated, you can move it around, rotate it, and place it where you'd like it. You, if you want a sharp rotation, just hit Shift when you rotate this. I'm going to place that here, and I'm going to place the first image above the second one. You can see now that this is added above this. This will work the same way on a video as well. Next, if you want to add a LUT or color correction or retouch to this, you're going to go to Objects, Plus, and add a camera. Make sure that this camera is below the orthographic camera. Into this camera, I'm going to go and add an empty color correction. You can select any one of these, but I'm going to choose on empty. In order to add your own custom color corrections, Locate your file. I'm going to use this one right here. Drag and drop it into the resources. And drag it into the texture in color correction. Now you can see that it gets added. I can change the opacity of this so that it's not that much. I think 0.32 looks pretty good. You can also add a face retouch and make the face a little more smooth. I'm going to disable eye sharpening and eye whitening for my lens. And yeah, that's how you make the Y2K lens. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.